Mazda CX-5 is one of the many available compact crossovers that you could choose from. When it was introduced in 2013, it was praised for its very stylish exterior, well-built interior, and solid driving dynamics. Its weak base four-cylinder and subpar multimedia interface were some turnoffs, however. For 2016, a host of new updates come into play that are mostly cosmetics. This includes a new front grille, redesigned headlights, and new stylish 19-inch aluminum wheels, and a new infotainment system. But is the CX-5 still competitive? Well, let's go ahead and find out and check out this 2016 Mazda CX-5. Now our CX-5 we also do have here is the Grand Touring Trim and it is pretty loaded. It comes with a full-on leather interior, LED headlights and LED daytime running lights. But pretty much the only package that this one lacks is the iActive Sense package. Now it is the crystal white pearl exterior color with smart key access on the driver's door and the front passenger door. Also comes with a full-on black leather interior. Power driver's seat, power recline, and your power lumbar too, of course. Now stepping inside, the step-in height is fairly low, what you would expect out of a compact crossover. And the biggest change on the interior is certainly the main center stack and the new controls as well as the new infotainment system and then also the controls for the infotainment system too. Otherwise if you do look at the rest of the interior it does look very similar to the 2015 models. Now you do have push button start, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start of course. And what you're hearing there is a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder with the Mazda's Sky Active technology. Full leather wrap steering wheel. I have to say that, that the steering wheel rim is just right. It's not too thin or too thick. Coming to your transmission you have the six speed automatic with manual shiftability. No paddle shifters here, however. But you do have a sport mode, and basically that's going to tighten up the steering as well as change the throttle response a little bit. Putting the vehicle into reverse displays your rear view camera with guidance lines. No trajectory here, however. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights. You also do have fog lights and the hazards. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors with LED turn signal indicators. And we also do have blind spot detection. We also do have these very stylish 19 inch alloy wheels too. LED headlights with LED daytime running lights. Then you have your fog lights right there. Love the new look of the CX-5. It almost has an angry, menacing look to it. Now under the hood here, we have one of the most fuel efficient four cylinder engines in the class. It's a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder with Mazda's famous Sky Active technology. It produces 184 horsepower at 5700 RPM and 185 pound feet of torque at 3250 RPM with EPA estimates being a very good 26 in the city and 33 on the highway with the six speed automatic. Now, if you do, get the CX-5 with a 2 liter 4 cylinder which is the base powertrain which is the one that you want to avoid. Most CX-5s are going to come with this 2.5 liter 4 cylinder. The 2 liter 4 cylinder 
gets 35 mpg on the highway and 26 in the city. Now a 6-speed manual transmission is standard while a 6-speed automatic is optional and then it is front wheel drive while all wheel drive is optional too. Overall you will find that this powertrain is very potent yet reasonably fuel efficient too. Certainly one of the best powertrains in the class. Now competitors of the CX-5, you have the vehicles in the compact crossover category. This includes the likes of the Ford Escape, Nissan Rogue, Jeep Cherokee, as well as the Honda CRV and the Chevrolet Equinox. Now pricing of the vehicle starts at the Sport model which starts at $21,795. The Touring starts at $25,215 and then the Grand Touring starts at $28,220. Coming to the rear, you have a rear window wiper with a rear window defroster, dual exhaust tips, and an LED third brake light on the top right there. Very stylish. Now EPA estimates, like I said, are 26 city, 33 highway. Total vehicle price for this particular one is $31,000. $850. Of course you have all of your basic power necessities, power windows, power door locks, and your power mirrors. And let's go ahead and rev it up. Now driving the 2016 CX-5 with the 2.5 liter 4 cylinder, this is certainly the powertrain you will want to get. Now the base 2 liter 4 cylinder that you get on the CX-5, that looks good on paper, however when you get out to the real world, the power isn't all that great and the fuel economy isn't all that great either. But when you get this 2.5 liter here, you have 184 horsepower and Despite the upgraded power, it really doesn't give up that much fuel economy either. Fuel economy is actually decent in the CX-5 here with the 2.5 liter. The handling on the CX-5 is pretty good and is one of the best in the class with sharp-like reflexes. And the steering is very responsive and offers a decent amount of feedback too. This isn't a boring vehicle to drive. Now as far as the ride goes, the ride should be comfortable for most people, but it is leaning a little on the firm side here. And I have driven some crossovers that do have a much plusher ride quality. However, this ride quality isn't bad, it's not jarring, but it's just not the most comfortable I've driven. So if you're looking for a compact crossover with a little bit of an athletic personality, as well as good power and decent fuel efficiency, the Mazda CX-5 is an excellent choice. Very nice. Now build quality and materials was never really an issue for the CX-5, however, it's still pretty much the same. And you have nice soft touch materials up here on the upper door panel. Mid door panel is nice soft touch as well as the armrest. Up here it's also a nice decent padded material. Everything feels well put together and very solid feeling. There's no panel gaps really inside of this interior. This portion is also really nice and padded. This is new for the 2016 model year. But overall build quality and materials are certainly top notch. And it's one of the best in the class in terms of that.
Coming to the steering wheel design, I think this steering wheel is fairly stylish and high quality looking too. You have your steering wheel mounted audio controls, voice recognition, and your Bluetooth phone controls. Your seek and track button is also right there too. And then you have your cruise control buttons as well. Adaptive cruise control is also optional on the CX-5. We also do have intermittent windshield wipers as well. Coming over here, you have your blind spot detection and then traction control off button. As far as visibility goes in the CX-5, it's actually decent, but it's certainly not best in class. You have a decent amount of side glass area in the front windows. Outward visibility is actually pretty good, but when you get to rearward visibility, it's a little bit limited due to that really small little rear window. And then seeing out of the back is kind of hard too. Not the best when it comes to rearward visibility. I say the Honda CRV is one of the best vehicles in the compact crossover class in terms of visibility. Coming up here you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link. And then your sunroof with your sunroof controls. And then you also do have your sunglass container as well. Interior illumination lighting. Headliner is actually kind of cheap. It can feel. I'm actually kind of surprised by this. This is actually kind of cheap feeling. Feels like cardboard. Coming down here, you do have an SD card slot as well as a little storage cubby. And then two USB ports as well as your auxiliary input. Then right here, like I said earlier in the video, this is for your main infotainment system. This is your main controller, which I will get to a little later in the video. You do have your cup holders, and then a nice squishy armrest for the center console lid. Decent amount of center console storage, and then you have a little tray right here. And then you have a 12 volt power outlet down there. Coming to the climate controls, it's actually pretty easy to figure out overall and they've been redesigned for the 2016 model year. Looks quite different from the 2015. But you do have dual zone automatic climate control. You have your temperatures right here, fan speeds, front window defroster, rear window defroster, and then your different modes. Pretty easy to figure out. Then you also do have three staged heated seats for the driver and the passenger too. As far as seating comfort goes in the CX-5, these seats are probably the sportiest seats, bucket seats I've sat in in a compact crossover. They have lots of side bolstering and then the seats actually hold you in place pretty well when you're going around corners. And they're fairly plush too and I would certainly take this vehicle on a long road trip. These seats are pretty comfortable. Thigh support is pretty good as well. The gauges of the CX-5, you have your speedometer in the middle right there and then your RPM gauge. Overall, they're pretty basic and traditional looking. However, you do have a little screen right there. And basically, that's going to show you various amounts of vehicle information like your fuel gauge, distance till empty, your exterior temperature readout. And then, it also shows you your average speed, current MPG, average MPG. Decent amount of vehicle information. Now the steering wheel does provide a decent range of adjustment when it comes to tilting and telescoping. Now let's get to the new main infotainment system here. And I love Mazda's new infotainment system. I just tested it out on the new 2016 Mazda 6. Now, it's certainly kind of like a knockoff Audi MMI interface, but it works pretty well overall. It's much better than their last multimedia interface, which had very scrunchy graphics and the responsiveness wasn't all that great. But this is much better. But basically, this isn't a touchscreen anymore. It's all controlled by these buttons and this big old dial right here. And then this little dial too. This is for your volume. And then basically when you click on the home screen right here brings up this screen and you have your applications gives you your HD radio traffic map your fuel economy monitor shows you a little bar graph and then you also do have your digital clock up there at all times 
Also gives you your maintenance schedules of like your oil change, tire rotation, warning guidance. And then coming to entertainment, your different audio sources do include all of the normal stuff. AM, FM, XM, satellite, radio, AHA, which is through your smartphone data connection as well as Pandora is Stitcher. And then your Bluetooth streaming audio your two USB ports and then of course you have your auxiliary input all the normal stuff it's not skipping out on any media sources you also do have auto memory too which is pretty neat then you have your different favorites which are pretty much your presets kinda and then I love how Mazda gives you this little back button it's very useful you also do have HD radio on this bad boy too and go to your HD menu and then scan tune if you want to tag any songs your seeking track button and then sound settings like your bass treble fade and your balance and we also do have a Bose audio sound system in this vehicle the audio quality is really nice and crisp and clear now let's get back to the main menu here. Coming to communication, basically this is for your Bluetooth phone. You can connect your phone, have an integrated dial pad, store all your contacts on there. Now coming to the navigation system, it's pretty clear and easy to read overall and the rendering is good. Now you can change your different map views. You have a 2D map view and then a 3D map view as well. Then you have your points of interest, navigation info, info, and if you want to enter in a new destination, of course you can enter in your destination by voice or by manually putting it in. However, don't expect it to be like Audi's MMI interface where you can have a little touchpad that is not available in here. Navigation settings like your map settings, traffic settings. We also do have live traffic and live weather on this bad boy. Your route settings, warning settings, many different settings you could change for the nav. Let's get back to the home screen. Coming to settings, we have your different settings like your brightness, contrast of the screen. Then coming to safety, you could change like if you want your blind spot monitoring volume to be low or high and then you have your smart city brake support if you want that on or off and of course your sound which we already went over your clock like your daylight savings time different time format if you want it in 12 hours or 24 hours your vehicle settings like your rain sensing windshield wiper, turn signals, lighting, door locks, different Bluetooth devices which are connected. Then other system settings like the temperature if you want it in Celsius or Fahrenheit, your different language, then your distance if you want it in kilometers or miles. Overall that's where you will find all your settings. Overall love the new infotainment system here. The rendering, the graphics is just really nice and then it's a much better infotainment system than what you will find on the 2015 model year. Alright, and let's go ahead and shut down the CX-5. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle and check out the cargo space as well as the rear seat passenger space. Low quality and materials do somewhat follow through in the rear. Up here it gets hard touch, but nice and soft touch on mid-door panel and armrest. Overall, sitting back here you will find it to be decently roomy. And the headroom is actually pretty generous too. Legroom is okay. Certainly not best in class, but it's not the worst in the class either. You do have dual map pockets back here. And then cup holders with the rear center armrest. What I'm really surprised to not find back here is rear air vents or any kind of power outlet. But overall the seats themselves are really comfortable, very supportive, thigh support is excellent. Certainly would take this vehicle on a long road trip back here or in the front passenger. 
I'm also actually surprised to find out that we do not have a power tailgate. Most vehicles in this class for about 31,000 will offer a power tailgate. Now the rear seats do fold down. And to fold them down just do that. Very easy to do. Very simple. And then you also do have a 12 volt power outlet. And then back here you will find a decent amount of cargo capacity, but certainly the best one in the class if you're looking for the most cargo capacity is the Honda CRV. And then you also do have a little light back here too. Full manual passenger seat. Glove box compartment. Nice and damp. So with the slick infotainment system, it's very stylish and aggressive exterior design, as well as it's nimble handling, make the 2016 Mazda CX-5 an excellent choice for a compact crossover. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.